Moving forward, let's now have a look at African Englishes. Uh, the colonial powers left their mark uh, in a linguistic way n uh, in all the parts of the world wherever they, they had gone. And Africa is one of those parts where they, there was a lot of colonization by various European and English-speaking uh, powers. Um, along with French and Portuguese, English uh, still has a continuing presence in various pa parts of Africa, for example, the countries like Nigeria, uh, Kenya, South Africa, Tanzania, and Ghana are uh, those parts of the world where uh, parts of Africa where English still has a very dominant presence. Uh, there could be various syntactic uh, characteristics of the English or its use in various parts of Africa which make it different from other parts of the world. In terms of grammatical and idiom idiomatic innovation, African English is quite rich. Oh, and one of the popular uses in African regions is, is the omission of the function words, for example, articles. Uh, this is somehow, to some extent, is similar to South Asian uh, varieties of English as well. A second type of uh, innovation or variation is the use of uh, generic nouns or pronouns in various conversations. For example, saying he is a real whole man uh, in, instead of saying adult and uh, use of a word footing instead of walking. So these generic nouns or pronouns uh, made of other nouns uh, can be a so characteristic of African Englishes. A third type is uh, the making of plurals, especially those words which in inner circle varieties can be seen in, in, in the form of mass or non-count uh, category of plurals. But in African Englishes, the plural of, of these words are made by adding S or ES. For example, we have seen the word furnitures instead of furniture, the word noises, as well as the word respects. Uh, and the expressions like the respects they deserve uh, explains it uh, in a better way. Uh, the various scholars attribute this variation in African English uh, in Englishers to the first language uh, interference. They also argue that this may also be because of the semantic inconsistencies of English language itself, and these inconsistencies are available to be examined examined in various parts of the world where English is spoken. Coinage is also an important feature of uh, the Africanization of English language and uh, there is a lot of morpho, uh, derivational morphology or the constructions based on derivational morphology which are found in African English. For example, we have the word hard cap instead of hardship. Uh, we have the constructions like he has given nothing coinable. Uh, and carnival uh, would reflect here no money. Compounding is also an important feature of African English, same as loan translations and analogical formations. But overall, if, if we have a survey of uh, the English spoken in uh, African regions, we could see that most of these varieties are reduced in these regions uh, to education and broadcasting.